So this is the first lockdown video. Uh, I'm just in my home gym setup. Well, I say mine, my girlfriend's, but I'm very fortunate to be staying with her. Uh, so I'm gonna be able to use that, which I'm very lucky to do. But I will also be releasing some, um, some lockdown videos where I'm gonna be showing you some workouts that you can do uh, and still get big without any equipment. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm uh, also gonna come out with a few different like vlogs and stuff. Uh, as well as some different videos. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd give a little introduction to the video that I'm about to show you. I hope it doesn't come across too intense, uh, but it's just basically me talking about how, just giving a few words of advice about how to stay positive and be, and st and be happy at the end of lockdown rather than just feeling like it's been a month wasted. Um, so I hope it kind of resonates well with you. Uh, and I hope you uh, take, take it on board and do this challenge that I'm gonna be, uh, be telling you about and uh, yeah let me know what you think about it let me know what you think about a challenge and for god's sake do it and let me know what your goals are Yo. so Sorry. <laughs> so new lockdown lockdown numero dos you're bored you're frustrated and you just want to skip to when we can all go out again but what if this lockdown was the greatest opportunity that anyone had ever been given in their whole life? Well, I'm probably exaggerating if I was saying that, but it definitely could be an opportunity because you see, I believe that everything happens for a reason and that mindset has helped me stay positive through all kinds of difficulties. And there's this Buddhist saying that says, no poison can kill a positive thinker, but no medicine can save a negative thinker. That's worth thinking about when we're facing hard negative times like this lockdown. So if everything happens for a good reason, then this lockdown must have been given to us as a gift, an opportunity uh, to do something good with. So let's all see this lockdown as a good thing. Maybe you're furloughed and you can take some time to rest. Maybe you're, you've got less distractions because you can't go out so you can reflect and think about some goals and what you're gonna do, plan your life a little bit. Maybe you can just focus on something that you haven't had time to focus on. Whatever we're gonna do this lockdown, let's see it as a good thing. An opportunity to move forward in our lives, to take our real life a bit closer to our ideal life. So take it back to the title of the video, how to not go crazy in lockdown. Let me say this, the best cure for anxiety is action. So in order to not feel rubbish at the end of lockdown and like it hasn't been just a totally wasted month, I think the best idea is to set yourself a target and achieve it because that's how you feel accomplished. So I've got a challenge for you. And I genuinely think that if you take this challenge, your life will absolutely be better than if you didn't. So you'd be a fool not to. So here's a challenge. Think of three goals you can realistically achieve in one month or however long your lockdown is. For me, it's one month. Think about how you're gonna do them, maybe write them down and then do them step by step. So to give you an example, my three goals are, I wanna get seven hours sleep every night for the next month. I'm gonna release three YouTube videos at least in the next month. I'm gonna go out and shake hands with 50 strangers at least in one month. I'm only joking. My last one is I'm gonna sort out my new job because I'm gonna start a new job. I'm gonna finalize my new job and I'm going to finalize my uni course that I'm starting next year. Do a bit of life admin. So yeah, think of a couple goals, think about how you're gonna do them and use this time to achieve them. And that I guarantee is gonna make you feel really good when you come out of lockdown and whilst you're doing them as well. But of course, make sure you keep a bit of time for relaxing. And by relaxing, I mean watching my YouTube videos and generally looking at my Instagram, George Warren's Mission. If you set yourself some goals, write them in the comments below or shoot me a message on Instagram, however you wanna do it. But let me know because I'm really interested to find out what they are and that way we can hold each other accountable because I've, I've told you my goals, it's only fair that you tell me yours as well. So remember, we're trying to take our real life to our ideal life, one step at a time. One last thing, I'm gonna remind you of that quote that we said earlier, which was, no poison can kill a positive thinker, no medicine can save a negative thinker. So let's look on this lockdown positively and crush it. Subscribe to my channel, unless you're a waste man, like the video, comment on the video, Look at my Instagram and set some goals and do them. Sweet. Yeah, I hope you guys liked that video. I uh, hope it uh, maybe made you feel a bit more ready to tackle this lockdown uh, in a productive and focused manner. Um, 
If you want to talk to him about it, about it if you want to ask me any questions, let's uh, obviously shoot me a message either in the comments or on Instagram and I'll be happy to get back to you. And please let me know what your goals are because I'm really interested to know what they are. And um, you know, there's this idea of how giving accountability to your goals and that means you're much more likely to do it because it's like if you write a goal down or if you tell someone else about it, suddenly it becomes real, it goes out of your head and into the real world and it's now something that you have to do otherwise it's like you're gonna know that you haven't done it, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I've told you mine for that very reason. So now if I don't do it, I'm gonna be like, I told everyone I was gonna do it and I haven't done it. You know, and hopefully you might feel the same way if you uh, tell me or tell anyone else in the comments or write it down just for yourself. Um, I think that would help you stay on target with your goals a bit more as well. So anyway, yeah, let me know um, and I'll see you in the next video where I'll probably be posting some nice kind of um, food or kind of uh, gym thing. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. See ya.